Hello my friends, I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to another full body power flow. This will be a spicy, playful and fun session where we connect our breath to movement. It will be a yoga Pilates fusion. So you won't be needing anything but yourself and your mat. And before we begin, if you would like to deepen your practice with me and find longer versions of this kind of practice, 45 minutes to 60 minute flows and workouts, you're welcome to check out my online membership, Tana Studio, the link is in the description box down below. In in March of 2024, whenever you're watching this, there will be a new seven day challenge coming up as well inside the membership. So stay tuned for that. I think you're going to really enjoy that. Okay, when you're ready to start, you're welcome to come into a child's pose. We won't be here for too long. I'm just taking a few moments to ground here. You can take your knees wide and then reach your arms out in front of you as you soften your elbows and your forehead down to the floor. Feel your energy settle as you soften and ground. Melt your hips back towards your heels, close your eyes, and take a full and relaxed breath in through your nose. Open the mouth, sigh, release. One more time, nice big inhale. Exhale, sigh, let it go. With that out breath, gently lift your gaze and glide forwards onto your hands and your knees. Let's make our way into tabletop pose. You can tuck your toes under and then reach your chest forwards, coming into your cow pose. Breathe in. And then round your spine as you contract, push away from the floor through your hands. A few rounds like this, slow your belly, lift your chest. Exhale, round your spine. Inhale, arch your spine, chest forwards. Exhale, we round, contract. Let's go for one more round. Breathe in, reach your chest forwards. And then with your out breath, lift your hips right up into a downward facing dog. With that out breath, let's begin to pedal out through the feet here, bend into one leg at a time, and try to drive the heels a little bit closer to the earth with each breath as you work a bit deeper into your hamstrings and your calf muscles. Taking one more inhale. With your next in-breath now, begin to peel the right knee into the chest, leaning forwards in a one-legged plank, hold and breathe. And then step the right foot over to the left side of your mat in a crisscross dog shape. Try to drive the heels closer to the floor as you really push away from the ground a lot. Take a full breath. Working into your hamstrings here and your calf muscles. Pull the right knee back into the chest, taking your breath in. And then send your right leg behind you, find a three-legged dog. Bend into that knee as you open up through your hip, driving your heel towards your bum. Breathe in. As you exhale, step your right foot outside of your right hand in a lizard lunge. Sink your left knee down to the earth and reach your right arm out in front of you. Breathing in, start to slowly bend into the back knee as you reach behind you in the direction of your foot. If you have the range, you can grab onto your foot. If not, don't worry about it. If you are here with me, start to guide the foot closer towards your hip. One more breath. Easing into your hips, you can release that. Drop your right hand down to the floor and step both of your feet back in a downward facing dog. Lift your heels off the floor and rock forwards plank. Nice and controlled chaturanga, squeeze your elbows into the midline and then make your way into an upward facing dog, reaching through your chest. Downward facing dog, roll your hips back. Inhale, pull the left knee into the chest, lean the body forwards, hold, hold, hold. And then step your left foot over to the right side of your space, driving your heels as close to the floor as you can. Take a full round of breath. Beautiful. Now with that exhale, pull the left knee back into the chest and then send your left leg back, three-legged dog with an open hip, bend into the knee, guiding your heel towards your bum. Breathe in. As you breathe out, stepping your left foot outside of your left hand in your lizard lunge. Right knee lowers to the ground, left arm stretches forwards. Breathe in. Exhale, we sweep behind us and maybe grab onto the foot or just in the direction of your leg. We're finding a deep stretch here through our right quad and also working into our inner left thigh. Take one more breath. 
Beautiful, nice and slowly, let's release that. Left hand to floor, tuck the right toes under and step both of your feet back in a downward facing dog. Lift your heels, rock forwards, plank pose, nice controlled vinyasa here, upward facing, reaching through chest. And then down dog, roll your hips back. Let's get into our flow, getting right into it guys. You can send your right leg behind you, come into a three legged dog. Then guide that right knee towards your right elbow, lean forwards. Three-legged dog, reach back again. Over towards your left elbow now. Three-legged dog, reach back. Step your right foot in between your hands. Come into a low lunge. Take a breath in, lift your chest. And then as you breathe out, right into your standing splits, kicking your left leg into the sky. Keep your hands on the floor here. Point into the back toes. And then it's a Shiva squat, left knee underneath right leg. Nice low to the right knee. Again, standing splits, lift it back up. Shiva squat, nice and low. Inhale, standing splits. Stay with me, exhale, Shiva squat. Nice, find a standing splits, kick back into the left leg. Finding a pyramid pose now, left foot meets the ground behind you, bow over your right thigh, hands on the floor. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. With that out breath, lift your gaze, reverse your warrior, right arm reaches up and over your ear, find space. And then with your out breath, find a high lunge with a twist, left arm forwards, right arm behind you, nice and low into the back knee. Keep reaching into your arms. Okay, taking it slow, left hand is gonna meet the ground here, easy twist, and then find a side plank with your right foot on your left foot, lift up through the bottom hip, breathe in. Breathing out, right hand to floor, other side, left arm stretches into the sky. Push away from the ground, inhale. Exhale, left hand to floor, right arm lifts, hold, breathe in. Okay, listen carefully, start to lift your right knee up, keeping that knee bent, you're gonna slowly step that right foot forwards at the front of your mat. Hands on the floor, breathe in. Standing splits, breathe out, left leg is high, okay. Start to peel the left knee up and in towards your chest. Come into a one-legged mountain now. Reach your arms up. Take a breath. And then begin to straighten through your left leg. Just do your best as you reach into that heel. If the leg is all the way down here, that's cool. You're still working into the strength of your hip flexors, your quad. Nice and slowly begin to pivot your left leg behind you. Flying warrior, reach back into your toes. Breathe in. Okay, listen carefully. As you breathe out, sweep the arms out in front of you in warrior three. Taking it slow, it's a Shiva squat. Left knee underneath your right leg, cactus through your arms. And then reach it back into your warrior three. We're going to do that two more times. Let's go for it. Shiva squat, nice and low. And then reach back, warrior three. One more time, Shiva squat, elbows bend. And warrior three, reach forwards through your arms. Step your left foot behind you, come into a five-pointer star. Nice work, guys, breathe in. Exhale, come into a horse pose as you breathe out, heels in, toes out. Guide your hands together at your heart and we will pulse here. Stay with me for five, four, three, two, and one, beautiful, straighten your legs, five-pointed star. Interlace your hands at the top, hands behind the back of your head. Come back down into your squatted shape, horse pose. And then lean over to the left side. Inhale, center, over towards your right. Inhale, center, over towards your left. Inhale, find your center, last time over to the right. Beautiful, find your center, and then straighten your legs, five-pointed star, breathe in. High lunge, face the front of your mat, breathe out. Exhale, lower your hands down to the floor and kick your right leg into the sky. Find a three-legged dog, inhale. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Three-legged dog, reach back. Over to the other elbow, left side. And then kick that leg through, come into fallen star as you lift your left arm into the sky, reach into your heart space and your hips. Breathe in. As you breathe out, slowly lower your left hand down to the ground. Pull the right knee into the chest and send your right leg behind you. Come into a three-legged dog. From here, we're gonna to start to walk the hands 
towards the left foot, meeting in a standing splits at the back of our mat. You can take your time, keeping your hands rooted to the floor, reach back into the right leg. Breathe in. Just two times, Shiva squat right knee underneath left leg. I know it's so fun. Inhale, send it back up. And exhale, one more time, Shiva squat. Nice work, guys. Standing splits, reach back into the right toes. Lift your gaze and walk your hands forwards. Come back into that three-legged dog shape with your right leg reaching behind you. Breathe in. And then as you breathe out, pull the right knee into the chest. Sink your right knee down to the floor. Tuck the right toes under. Supported side plank, left arm up and over. Breathe in. Rise onto the knee, gate pose. Right arm reaches over to the back of your space. Okay, now reach both of your arms up, firing up your core a little bit, hug your belly to your spine, and then you're going to start to lower down. Try to keep the arms straight and basically go as low as you can. Holding now for five, four, three, two, one. Nice work, guys. Come back up. One more round like that. Stay with me. Belly in, nice and engaged. We lower down. Holding for five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Come back up. Left hand to left thigh. Take a breath. Reach back. As you exhale, gaze to the front. Cover all the hands down to the floor and kick your right leg into the sky. Come into a three-legged dog. Reach back. Shift forwards in your three-legged plank. Shoulders over wrists. And then find a slow and controlled vinyasa. Any vinyasa of your choice. Upward facing dog. Down and facing dog, we roll the hips back. Take a full breath in and then give it a sigh. Inhale, sending your left leg tall, finding your three-legged dog. Guiding that left knee to the left elbow. Three-legged dog, reach back to the right elbow. Three-legged dog, reach behind you. Stepping your left foot in between your hands, come into a low lunge. Breathe in. As you breathe out, standing splits, kicking your right leg into the sky. Keep your fingertips on the mat. Inhale. Shiva squat. Exhale. Inhale, lift it back up. Standing splits. Stay with me. Exhale. Shiva squat. Nice and low. Inhale, standing splits. Last time, Shiva squat. Inhale, standing splits. Reach back into the foot. And then lower your right foot down to the floor behind you as you make your way into pyramid pose. Beautiful, guys. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, bend into the left knee as you lift your gaze, reverse your warrior. Left arm reaches up and over. Take a moment as you breathe into your side. As you breathe out, sweep the arms up and then take a twist to the left side, left arm behind you, right arm forwards. It's a high lunge with a twist. Keep the back knee nice and bent. Hold. Slowly drop that right hand down to the floor. Side plank, roll onto the outer edge of that foot, stack your ankle bones, lift your hips, push away from the ground. Okay, let's take it to the other side. Left hand to floor, right arm reaches tall. For a last time, right hand to floor, reach your left arm into the sky, take a breath in. Okay, with that out breath, start to lift your left knee up as high as you can, push away from the ground, and step your left foot forwards to the front of your mat. Breathe in, breathing out, standing splits, kick your right leg into the sky. Start to pivot your right knee all the way up and into the chest. One leg in mountain pose. Stay with me, enjoy the spice, enjoy the play. <laughs> okay, we're gonna straighten through the leg. See how we go as we reach into the heel, hold. Beautiful, take your time. Fly the leg behind you, flying warrior. Reach back into the leg and reach back into your arms first. Breathe in. And then as you breathe out, fly your arms forwards in your warrior three. Okay, let's do this three times. Shiva squat, right knee underneath left, cactus the arms, and then reach back, warrior three. Again, Shiva squat, 
and warrior three. Last round, guys, stay with me. Shiva squat and warrior three. Reach back into the leg, breathe in. Breathing out, right foot meets the floor. Come into your five-pointer star. Whoa, well done. <laughs> okay, come down into your horse, heels in, toes out. Let's find those little pulses. Stay with me, don't hate me for five, four, three, two, and one. Straighten your legs, five-pointer star, breathe in. Interlace your hands, hands behind head, elbows are bent, come down into your squatted shape. Okay, on your next breath, we're gonna to start to lean over to the back. Inhale, center, over to the front of your mat. Inhale, center, over to the back. Stay with me, hips nice and low. Center, over to the front. One more time on each side. Center, over to the back. Find your midpoint, over to the front. Inhale, back to center. Straighten your legs. Oh my goodness, I feel it in my bum and my glutes. Reach up. High lunge, face the front of your mat. Breathe in. As you breathe out, drop your hands down to the floor and send your left leg into the sky. Find a three-legged dog. Guide the left knee towards the left elbow. Three-legged dog, reach back again. To the right elbow and then lift that right hand off the floor as you kick the leg through fall and star. Lift your hips, lift your heart, breathe in. Beautiful, as you breathe out, lift your left foot off the floor, bend into the knee, right hand meets the ground, find a three-legged dog, sending your left leg back. Start to walk your hands towards your right foot at the back of your space, you're meeting here in a standing split. Fingertips on floor, reach back into the left leg. Exhale, Shiva squat, just two times. Inhale, lift the back up. And again, Shiva squat. Inhale, lift it back up, standing splits. Look forwards and walk your hands to the front of your space, meeting in your three-legged dog shape. Reach your left leg behind you. Pull the knee into the chest now, breathe in. Sink your left knee down to the floor. Tuck the left toes. Find a supported side plank. Reach your right arm up and over. Inhale. Exhale, rise onto the knee. Come into gate pose, reaching over to the back of your mat. Okay, nice work. Let's reach both arms up. Hugging your belly into your spine. We will lower. Let's do it. Stay with me, arms nice and straight. Lower and hold five, four, Three, two, one. Nice work, come back up, breathe in. One more round, let's do it together. Lower down, hold, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, come back up, take a breath in. Right hand meets your right thigh, lean over to the back. As you exhale, cartwheel the hands down to the floor and kick your left leg into the sky. Find a three-legged dog. Reach into that foot. Lift your gaze, rock forwards in your three-legged plank. Take any flow of your choice. Taking your vinyasa, upward facing dog, to downward facing dog. We all meet there. Take a full relaxed breath once you land here. Breathe in. Give it a sigh, release. And then with that out breath, lift your heels off the floor. Find a crouching dog, bend your knees into your chest. And then step or jump forwards. We're gonna meet right into a chair pose. Stay with me guys, almost there, I promise. Okay, keep those knees bent with your arms reaching forwards. Inhale. And then flying chair, exhale, sweep the arms behind you. Hold, try to lift your heels off the floor as much as you can. Okay, once we're here, we're gonna slowly lower the hips down to the heels and come into a toe stand, resting the hands on the thighs. Try to lengthen through your spine, roll the shoulders back and down. And then with your exhale, sink your knees to the floor in front of you. Camel pose, Ustrasana, hands to lower spine. You can gently push your hips and your heart space forwards. If you have it in your practice, you can gently lower the hands to the heels. Find a shape that's working for you today. Take a moment, take a breath.
Okay, when you're ready to come out of it, slowly melt your hips back towards your heels and shift your weight back onto your bum. Take the knees out to the sides. We will meet in butterfly pose, Baddha hands around feet, inhale, lengthen, and then lean forwards as you exhale, melt down. Soften in the upper body, soften the shoulders, the neck and the face. Loosen up. On your next in-breath, you can slowly peel yourself upwards. Wrap your hands around your knees. Stay with me, guys. We're almost there. Just a little bit of core to finish things off. So stay with me. Reach the legs out in front of you, arms out in front of you. Breathe in. Straighten your legs. Breathe out. It's a low boat shape. Keep your shoulders and head lifted off the floor. Breathe in. And then bend into the right knee, right knee into chest, and then change sides. So we're just moving from left to right. We are keeping the shoulders lifted so that we're really working the upper and lower abdominals. I'll count you down 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Both knees into chest, wrap your hands around your shins, relax your head to the floor for two breaths. Okay, next exercise, almost there. Reach your left leg out in front of you, right knee is bent. Interlace your hands behind your head and then pull the left elbow to the right knee. So it's opposite knee to elbow and you're just gonna find these side crunches here, knee to elbow. I'll count you down 10. Nine, eight, stay with me. Seven, six, five, almost there. Four, three, two, and last one, beautiful, take it to the other side, right leg forwards, left knee in, hug the knee to the elbow, let's crunch, we go 10, nine, eight, seven, six, almost there guys, five, four, three, two, And last one, beautiful work. Hug your knees into your chest, hands around shins, give yourself a squeeze. Gently start to sway the body from left to right. You're welcome to close your eyes now. Let the body feel loose and open. And then nice and slowly, you can reach your left leg out in front of you and then your right leg out in front of you. Make your way right into Shavasana. Palms open to the sky, close your eyes. Let your body feel completely held here and loose and open. Begin to deepen your breathing. And then slowly bring your awareness back into your body. You can start to move your fingers gently in your toes, begin to circle out the wrists and the ankles. And just find any stretches that feel good here. Maybe taking the hands behind you, bending your knees a little bit, wrap your hands around the backs of your thighs. Give yourself a squeeze. 
and then rock forwards and backwards on your spine to help you rock yourself up into a cross-legged seat. You can place one foot in front of the other. Well done for coming all the way to the end. If you're here with me, let's seal in our practice today with a nice conscious and connected breath. So you can guide your hands together and take a nice big breath in and then let it go, exhale. Thank you for practicing with me today, guys. I hope that you enjoy that practice. Well done, it was quite a spicy one. Honestly, it kind of took a life of its own. So I wasn't expecting it to be that spicy, but I hope that you feel good now and I hope that you feel a little bit more connected to your body and you had a good sweat. Um, let me know how it went for you in the comment section down below. And as I said earlier, if you are interested in deepening your practice with me, finding full length Pilates workouts and yoga flows, breath work and meditation, please do check out Tana Studio, my online membership. The link is in the description box down below and there is a seven day free trial. So. Otherwise, hope you guys have a beautiful day and I will see you next week.